Good evening everybody, welcome to my page. Um, it's a little bit of an impromptu live. I hadn't any intentions of going live, but um, I've got something exciting happening um, because we've had, we're having a relaunch of one of my patterns. Now, um, this pattern in particular has been super popular. Um, actually, I don't know how many downloads I've had, but it's been super popular. When I just looked at the YouTube tutorial for it, it's had five and a half thousand views, which is a fair amount of views, if you'll agree with me on that. And um, so well, I've had my WizKid um, proofreader and editor Kath working really really hard on revamping Maud which is our fabulous um, oh hi Julie where it's our fabulous kind of coffee cup tea cup hot chocolate cup uh, milkshake cup carrier now um, this I um, sort of invented designed came up with um, last year, it, it would have been about January, although we launched it on uh, the Facebook page, sorry, the, the website in April, but the Gold Ladies had it in March. And it was a super um, popular pattern and I've done a workshop with it and, yeah, so um, th there was nothing wrong with the old pattern. So if you've got the old pattern, um, that's absolutely fine. You don't need a new copy. But what I asked, what I've asked uh, Kath to do is to look all my patterns and there's, I don't know, maybe 150 patterns, uh, look at them and see if they can be revamped, brought up to date, um, different fabric, newer fabric, um, you know, just tweak it really. So if you've got the old pattern, you mustn't worry. Um, it's still um, exactly the same, just a bar these few little tweaks. There's no reason for you to have a new one. Um, but for those of you that have asked me, and I have to say, oh, hi, Gemma and Catherine and Celia and Linda and Marilyn, um, and Kath, the Kath's on there. If you want to say thank you to Kath, she's on there. Um, yeah, it was just really um, to tidy it up, make it look better, make it read better. That's the sort of thing because, you know, I'm not an editor. I kind of like sketch things out and make things up, um, <laughs> but I'm not an editor. Um, so, uh, you know, I need Kath to, to, to stand back, look at it and say, this needs tweaking, that needs tweaking. So so with, we've done this with Maud. <laughs> and I think she had a bit of fun making it. And the pattern that you'll get now looks like this on the website. I've only printed out the front page there's no need for me to print out the whole thing and that's the one that Kath made um, over the last two or three weeks and it's beautiful look at that fabric it's just utterly amazing it's too delicious for words we've given it a two star rating because it's not super easy and it's not super hard it's kind of sits somewhere in the middle so two star kind of fits it and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of people have messaged me over the last three or four Four months to say when is Maud coming back out well you know I don't get a huge amount of time but um, I kind of passed it over to Kath and said would you mind having a look at this because a lots of ladies oh hi Celeste um, hi Chris hi hi Ginny as well um, so I asked her to have a, have another look at it and revamp it. Now, like I said, it's it's one of my favourite patterns. It's one of those things that you. Th I actually, I'm really, I'm really a selfish designer. So don't think I'm being kind. I'm really selfish because I only make things that I would use. And when I first thought of Maud, I definitely, definitely wanted to use it in my motorhome. And um, so, so Maud was born. But you know, you have to start with drawings and bits of paper and try and fit it together like a jigsaw puzzle and it, you know it takes a long long time to develop a pattern but when I had, had developed it when I had sort of put it together I realized how um, how um, useful it was going to be now I have to be perfectly honest with you the one, I think this is the one actually I might have made in the video. I'll be honest with you. I can't remember, but I think it is. Um, and it's the most glorious pa um, fabric. It's got gold foiling on it. And this is the one I have in the motorhome. I have had to go to the motorhome to get this out of one of the cupboards I have. And when we stop off at petrol stations to fill up with diesel and, you know, fuel, um, I go and get our coffees in this. Now, obviously, if you want to make it for a man, make it in, obviously, suitable manly colours. Um, 
maybe you want to make the handles a bit shorter I don't know but if it's for a man maybe it's something you want to sort of have another uh, have a re-look at um, it's got quite a good few features about Maud okay now on this one I haven't put the studs on 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 this one that doesn't have the poppers not on the front anyway I can't remember if we got it on the in on the inside oh yeah the inside has <laughs> and in fact I don't know if if yeah. Uh, no, Kath didn't put them on the front either. It's funny how you think these things happen and, the, and they haven't happened at all. I make it as I go along. So look, what happens is the flap comes over and the straps hold it in place so it's really secure. Um, and when you open it up, as I'll do now, you've got two 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 sides to it, if you like. So there's the flap that comes over. I, I didn't realise I was going to... The blue that I'm wearing matches matches this. It's gone in, it's gone invisible now. So there's the flap that comes over, it goes over there. And these two sides are poppered. She's definitely done that in the pattern. And when you pop those down, let me just do that. You can see that you end up almost with a little tray or a tabletop or a mat, that sort of thing where you could have your croissant or your chocolate eclair or your sausage roll or whatever your fancy is. And it keeps everything clean and tidy and, and obviously you can pop it away. Now, this one has been washed, so I know that it's really, really sturdy. Um, it, we've designed it, so it's, it's sturdy. Um, and it's got the poppers there to, to hold the sides up. The other thing is it has pockets. So here and on the other side as well, I can't try and be clever and, and hold it up so you can see. It has pockets either side and um, it, it'll hold, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> It'll hold your stirrers and your sugar and your biscuits and anything else that you might pick up in the service station. It won't pick up, it, you can't store your newspaper in it. Although I suppose it could go, you, you could put it along here and then flap that over. Okay, good idea. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, so you've got obviously the two side pockets. You've got the mat, so you can see how that works. You've got a lovely mat, it's padded, so you could pop your your pastries on there if you want to. The two pockets as well that has the sugars, the biscuits, the stirrers and anything else. Maybe some chocolate bars in there, but don't put them near the heat unless you use Thermalan or something like that. And that's obviously not too bad then. And then you've got the actual sort of box, if you like, um, that holds the cups and two regular size cups fit in there a treat. OK, you, I suppose smaller ones are fit in there, um, but the larger ones won't unless you, I suppose you could flap it over like that. But, but quite honestly, you've got to make it one size or not at all. So I went for regular, which is about right, isn't it? And so those two cups will sit beside by side in there just right. I made it. I purposely made it. Um, in actual fact, I went to my local farm shop at the Christmas of that year and I asked them for two coffee cups. I said, I just want them empty with lids. Oh, right. I said, well, no, it's for measurements. Oh, right. <laughs> you see, they don't realise, do they, how important these things are to a designer. So um, I had Christmas coffee cups in here for quite some time. Empty, I have hastened to add. Yep, so that is your basic Maud, and, and she's absolutely gorgeous. One thing that is different about this Maud or this pattern is that it has a base to it, which you can take out. Now that's an optional extra. We've, we've included it in the pattern. It's part of the design. But if you think this is out of your capabilities, then leave it out. But I do suggest you put a piece of card in the bottom because that holds your cups better. It keeps them stable. Maybe even some really, that really, um, uh, sort of stable and like, like the Decaville, not the Decaville light, but the Decaville, um, that, that wouldn't be too bad, but I would do two layers, I'll be honest with you. So if you're not going to wash it, use card. But if you are going to wash it and you do think you're capable, this actually has a slide out tray. I know, let me just do this so you can see. It has a slide out tray, guys. Look, can you see that? So there's a little window in the front or the side, whichever way you look at it, and it has a slide out tray. Genius. So it has mount board in here to really give it rigidity. It also has um, a stabilizer in there as well to help with the, just hold the cups nicely, but it's also got some iron on vinyl. 
okay so that means if you do have a little spillage on this part you can just wipe it and, and it'll wipe clean if you want to cover the whole thing in vinyl do it but it's just you know it, it's kind of like a nod towards something different for you to do so you can see there there's the opening it's like a little letterbox and the um you can, if I flash it, you'll see it's got the vinyl on it and that sits inside there absolutely perfectly. It's a bit like a magic trick, isn't it? Now you see it down, now you don't. Um, you know, cut off the woman's head, all that sort of thing. <laughs> I've, 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 I've devi deviated, I best not. So look, you can see it's got a little tag there. You can just pull that out if you wanted to. to you could wash this then, can't you? This you can't wash because it's got card in. It's got mount board in. Or a couple of layers of stiff card will do. As long as you're giving that base a bit of rigidity. I'm serious, it means it. It needs it. So you can see why I'm excited about relaunching Maud. It's a great, great pattern. Um, it's, it's quite sweet as well to look at. And obviously you could choose some really gorgeous fabrics to make this from so you stand out from the crowd. Um, and obviously to have, have fun with it. It's got the poppers on there so you need to get some poppers. I've used fabric on my handles. You could use, whoops, you could use webbing if you wanted to. Lots of things you can change up about Maud, but basically she's going to be a really, really useful addition. I can't stress enough. I've taken this down to our, the same farm shop. This is absolutely truthful. When we started lockdown last year, they were doing a coffee takeaway service and there's nothing quite like somebody else's coffee. So I would pop along, I'd get two lattes as it were I, I don't do skinny might as well go full fat and um, pop them in there the, if you use thermalam it keeps it really warm until you get home my, my farm shop's only a couple of miles away and there we are it keeps everything stable put it on the floor of your car not on the seat uh, i think we have to be a little bit sensible but there we are so that is the relaunch of maud now um i haven't put it in the shop well it is in the shop but i have to make it visible um i suppose i could do that while i'm well oh, wrong wrong mouse while i'm talking to you um it's the same price as all of my um big patterns when i say big patterns they're patterns that have been launched in the gold group because they are mm, a little bit more complicated than a making it monday pattern or a lizzie's special friends pattern so it's it's um it's that one notch above that perhaps you'll have to decide on your skill level whether you think you'll be able to do it so um, more the twin cup coffee holder is now visible on the on the on the website i have uh, made it visible so i'm just going to check to make sure that you can see it if you want to um where, where's my browser oh there it is <laughs> I'm saying nothing about technology so if yes yeah, so if you go into the if you go into the shop there it is it's the first pattern that you come to and you're going to see these glorious colors you're going to see that you're not going to see anything oops in blue okay this is just my sample that I use in my motorhome so um, I hope you like her um, I'm sorry I haven't looked at very many comments um, is it possible to get paper patterns from your website? I don't have a printer. Um, no, is the short answer. I don't send anything out. I don't have time to print for you, pack for you and post for you. I have a thousand downloads a week, so I cannot do that. Catherine, this does not need to be downloaded. This is a pattern and a lot of my patterns are like this. They're PDFs. So you can download it to your device. I suggest something bigger than a, uh, a mobile phone. You want something bigger than this, um, like a, an iPad, something like that. And you can open up your PDF and you can read it off the screen. You don't need to print it, but you, you must save it. If you don't save it, you'll lose it after 30 days. That's written all over my website. And I, I can't be responsible for you forgetting. I forget enough. I forget myself. So um, you don't have to worry about that. Um, but I mean, I'd love to, I'd love to send out um, heaps of packages. But first of all, it would cost you twice the price with packaging um, and my time to do it. So it's just not financially worth it to you. Um, never mind me. So I would say if you love the pattern like I do, you can tell, 
just read it off the screen. You need to buy it, you need to download it, you need to save it. But you can open it up on your screen, on your laptop or your iPad or whatever you use and uh, you can read it off the screen. Dead easy. Some of my patterns have actual um, pattern pieces in which and there's you they're usually patterns that are rounded or have a, a like an oval or a, or a, a round base something like that um but always ask always ask me if if it's got pattern pieces or not um <clears throat> and then i can and then i can give you some advice um but yeah so and that's brilliant isn't it actually that's quite a bonus that you can do that so um, let's have a look. Um, thank you very much, Gloria. I really appreciate your comments there. Um, thank you very much, Marion. Yeah, I think it's gorgeous too. Funnily enough, it matches the outfit. I hadn't planned that at all. Um, Miss the beginning as you're prepping for your 60th birthday tomorrow, Liz. You can't be 60, surely. That's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> Leslie says she reads all my patterns off the screen anyway. Very easy to follow. That's because we've got Kath on board, Leslie. Wasn't so good when I was doing the pattern. It was my worst job. I, I don't mind designing, making, putting it together. I love all of that. I've been doing that today. Um, but the actual writing of the pattern, I, I don't mind doing the video at all, but the writing of the pattern, oh, horrid. It's like admin, isn't it? It's like doing mathematics at school. Oh, some of you might like it. I don't. Anyway, so yeah, so it's great since Kat's been on board. <laughs> Pass, pass it over to Kath. She's brilliant. Um, so yeah, so thanks very much. Um, so um, do do go and have a look in the shop. Go and see if you can find it. It's the first one on there. Oh, Deborah from Maine. Uh, such a good idea. Yeah, it is Deborah. I've seen some that carry a single cup. But hold on, there's me and John. So I need a double, a twin, and it, they do sit nicely in there. Obviously, you're not going to swing it round your head. You're not going to swing it as you walk. You're going to hold it nicely. I don't suggest you hold it like this, but hold it straight as you would if you were holding a, a carrier. Um, but it's fully washable and you can take that base bit out, which I, I rather like the idea of that. Took a long time for me to think it up. Um, Nicola says it Maud is a great make. It's very handy. It certainly is. Um, thank you so much for all your lovely comments. I really appreciate it. Um, and thank you very, very much. Oh, here we, here we are. Rebecca says, can you say happy birthday to my mom, June? June Ward, she's 70 today and she loves our lives. Oh, Rebecca. So happy birthday, June. I can't believe you're 70. You absolutely do not look 70. There's all those skin creams you've been using have paid off, haven't they? I can't believe it. 70. Have a super day. I hope they're spoiling you. I hope you're having a big party. Can we have a big party yet? You can have some people around. Do it from Monday. You can have loads. <laughs> anyway, um... Uh, Veronica, the, the pattern is on my website, lizzycurtis.com. I will update the YouTube information when I finish this and I'll, I'll get the um, link for the video because the video is on YouTube and it is um, a proper video. So it's quite good to watch. Now, there might be slight deviations on what I say on the video to the pattern that Kath has written. OK, because this is the revamped version. So it don't I would say 100% follow this. Use the video to give you a rough idea how you're putting it together. Well, not a rough idea, but you know what I'm saying. To, to show you how to put it together properly. But the, um, the, the, the pattern that you should follow 100% because this is the one that it's, that's updated. Lovely. What is the website? My website, um, Nicole, oh, Sue, Sick, Sue Nic Nicola. What a lovely name. Um, uh, what is my website? <laughs> LizzieCurtis.com. LizzieCurtis.com. But I'll put the link in the description underneath the YouTube um, when when I finish this, um, and then you can you can find it. But if you just look Lizzie Curtis, if you Google Lizzie Curtis, everything comes up to do with me, and my website is on there, um, and and there's loads and loads of patterns on there it's looking quite full at the moment tons and tons of making it mondays please please um help yourself to those making it mondays for a pound i think it's one dollar forty they're incredible value and great makes and we've had 
we've had, I think we're in the last count, I think we said there was over 20,000 have been downloaded. So quite popular. Anyway, it's in the shop. It's ready to go. Um, I hope you enjoy making it. I would love, love, love to see your pictures. Obviously, you can't on YouTube, but pop over to the Lizzie Curtis page and pop your picture in the post that I've just done about Maud. And then we can see it might take you a couple of weeks to do it, but find the post and post your pictures. It'll be super. Right. Oh, thank you for putting that. I've just seen loads and loads of messages come up. Gemma, oh, Gemma, Jackie, you've seen, uh, you've put my Lizzie Curtis Curtis on there. Um, Linda says she's just seen Irene. I'm assuming you mean the pattern Irene. It's a great little make. I've only just put my Irene's back in my box to, to tidy away. So yeah, so thank you all very much. I'm going to leave it there. I've got I've got to go for a walk with the, with John. I'm going to take Millie for a little walk. So I will see you um, on Monday for Making It Monday. Um, but yeah,